is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how you can find out the actual charging speed of your iPhone. That's right, we all know that the iPhone is compatible with fast charging, but how fast? How fast is your iPhone charging in your house with your charger in reality? So, I'm going to tell you exactly that. It's super easy, so then you'll be able to tell if you're actually charging your iPhone as fast as you can, or if you're actually wasting time because you're charging it super slow. So let me show you. Okay, so in order to do that, we're going to need an app, but it's a free app so everyone can install it. So go ahead and open up the App Store, and then go to search, and then search for NPR. That's it. Go to search and then scroll down a bit, it's gonna be this one. Since there are quite a lot of similar apps and everything like that, I'm gonna have the information on the screen, link in the description, so you can tap on it and open up this page on the correct app so there are no mistakes, right? Go ahead and download it. Uh, as I said, it's free. There are in-app purchases, but we don't need to pay for anything. Actually, the version I'm using right here is the free one. It's the one with ads, okay? No problem at all. So let's go ahead and open it up. And what we're gonna need to do is actually tap here on I understand. And then of course, plug it to the charger, right? We're gonna need to go ahead here and plug it make sure it's actually charging otherwise it won't be able to calculate anything and then go ahead here and tap on measure and bridge okay so it's gonna say testing running the test so you can leave it on a table on a flat surface charging of course don't touch it don't exit the app or anything like that it's gonna take a while it's gonna take a couple minutes not too much just a couple minutes because it's gonna need uh, for the battery to get some charge some percentages right so then it'll be able to calculate how fast it was and then of course show the charging speed so let's go ahead and wait a little bit if you see ads during the testing all you have to do is wait and then of course tap on skip video right here and then on the X, and then the test will continue. As I said, this is because it's the free version. If you want to, you can get the premium and get rid of the ads. But as I said, I'm using the free version. And so after a couple minutes, we're done. Test complete. And as you can see, this is the result. 15.61 watts. And it may seem really slow, and that's because it is but let me explain you the whole picture the big picture so you can understand how fast charging really works on the iphone so first things first you gotta understand that depending on your iphone model you will have different maximum charging speeds so if you go ahead and open up this page right here okay as you can see we've got iphone charging speeds going from the iphone 8 all the way up to the iphone 15 series and we start here with the iphone 8 because before that the iPhone just wasn't compatible with fast charging, all right? And if you take a look at the speeds here, it'll go from 12 to 18 uh, to pretty much always around 20 watts or more on newer devices. As you can see here on the iPhone 15, this is an iPhone 15 Pro Max, 27 watts. And then you say, okay, uh, it maxes out at 27 and you got 15. So that's pretty terrible, right? And then it comes the second pretty important information when we're talking about iPhone charging speeds. It is the fact that it'll vary a lot depending on the percentage itself. So uh, between zero and 50%, it's gonna charge really fast I mean uh, to iPhone standards right so it's gonna get uh, generally over 20 watts so 20 22 25 up to 27 in the case of the iPhone 15 and of course this will uh, respect here uh, the maximum of each single model all right and then from 50 on uh, it generally starts to go down and then when it reaches 80% from 80 to 100 it's gonna charge super slow called trickle charge okay and as a matter of fact you shouldn't even be charging your iPhone past 80% right if you don't know what I'm talking about I have a ton of content in the channel talking about how charging your iPhone past 80% is bad I'll leave card link in the description if you want to take a look so in the end of the day uh, the maximum your iPhone will charge 
are those numbers right here and they will vary depending of course on your battery percentage on uh, how low or how high the number is okay so please keep that in mind so considering my iPhone is getting closer to 70% when I ran the test right here that's why it's 15 watts okay if I did it again on 78% it'll be even lower than that okay so keep that in mind and on top of that you gotta make sure that your charger is compatible with fast charging as well because uh, if you're using a super slow charger it's not even gonna get those numbers it's not even gonna get the 15 watts that I got so in order to get fast charging on your iPhone you need at least a 20 watt charger the charger I'm using uh, on this test that I was charging my iPhone is this one it's a 33 watt charger uh, so then it's great perfect it's gonna deliver the maximum okay that my iPhone can handle uh, don't worry if the charger is over 27 or 22 or 25 no problem at all your iPhone will handle uh, the power okay so that's how it works that's how you calculate how fast your iPhone is actually charging uh, make sure to use a 20 watt or more charger and that's pretty much it and understand that that's how it works the iPhone just doesn't charge that fast okay so thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video as usual guys bye bye